Hey guys, it's Kyle from GTN to Kick Game, and today I'm bringing you a video on RuneScape Idle Adventures. It's a new game that Jagex has uh, recently launched. It's uh, one of the click sort of, you know, you click games where you get resources, that sort of thing, similar to Advance Adventure Capitalist. Um, only it's, it's it's quite different. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So, uh, I have obviously played a little bit of it, uh, just to try it out, and I've leveled up some of my skills. So, how it works is you start off with a character, uh, basically like this, and you start off with these, these two resources here, your fishing and your fire making. And you'll get a little quest, a little quest marker, which will be in the top corner, and it'll tell you to get so many people um, to obviously start doing it. And here, as you can see, I've got 30 people fishing. Um, you know, what makes this different is A, you have the quest, B, the whole hiring system is different as well, and what I really like about this game is it's sticking to sort of what RuneScape is, but at the same time it's something different. It's not just every other game trying to copy itself. And that's, that's what I'm enjoying recently, because a lot of games are actually, yeah, they're bringing out games that are similar to each other. I mean, for example, if you have a look at Hearthstone and Chronicle, um, you know, and uh, Elder Scrolls Legends as well, which is due to come out, uh, they're, all, they're all quite similar, because they're all, they're all card games, but they're keeping to their roots, they're keeping to what their game is all about. You know, so they're not really copying off one another, so, you know, the games are sticking to their roots. So, without further ado, let's explore this a bit further. So, obviously you have your player screen. Uh, this is where it shows your attack, how many people you've got, your health, statistics, achievements. These are your different skills. Okay, and these are your different activities you can participate in. So, as you can see, uh, you've got a bit of everything there. And this, this is just one area. You have so many different areas, and I'll go into that very shortly. First of all, let's explore the skills. So, here's the skills. Okay, you can level up skills. This is, this is another thing I love. Notice how I've got 7.8 million um, sort of water resource. Uh, so, what you do here, let's go to... So, all right, I've already got them at level 10. So, let's go to construction, we'll advance that level. So, that's going to cost 70,000 for the next level. So, let's hold that down. So, let's go to the next level. Boom, level 11, okay? Leveling up gives you different advantages. I mean, as you can see here, you know, increase max citizens, unlock ability one, animal output, increase max citizens. You know, each each level gives you something different. Then you have your combat skills. Again, I've leveled all mine up to combat uh, to level ten, so let's level them up to level eleven. There we go. I don't think I'll actually get any bonuses for this one. So, I mean, that's how the skills work, basically. You level them up, you know, and obviously it's going to start working a little bit quicker and a little bit better. Uh, next, these are the quests. You can get varying quests, alright, uh, divine quests. I haven't got into the divine quests yet. So, teach man to cabbage. Uh, I'm in the middle of that one. And uh, medieval economics. So, teach man to cabbage. Complete farming 50 times in Draenor Village. Done that. Get 30 citizens to learn farming in Draenor Village. So, let's get that done. Farming. So, um, 30 people have just learned farming. So, there we go. Teach man to cabbage. Claiming Draenor Village. So, here we are. So, a new quest mark has come up. Brusque Prime. So, I've earned a Sapphire Amulet, and an Amulet of Defense, and 25 Anima, uh, another Amulet of Magic, another Amulet of Defense, and more Anima. Sweet. Next is you've got the world. Okay, so all I'm doing here is I'm giving you a brief overview. Keep in mind you can sign up to the beta of this, um, if you do want to check it out. Right, so... This is another thing I love about it. You have the full RuneScape world. It's all here. Like, it is all here. You know, the full world. Um, 
and you can travel to different areas. So, for example, I want to go train in a dungeon. Let's go to London Catacombs, travel to dungeon. And you can start the dungeon, and it works through the waves, and you gain, uh, obviously, the blood resource. I mean, I don't, you know, know what they're called 100%. But yeah, I mean, that's that's basically that. You know, you level yourself up. This is what I've discovered so far. I'm, you know, I'm bound to discover so much more about the game. I just thought what I'd do is I'd give a quick overview of, you know, the sort of thing you can expect from it. Because, yeah, it is a new game. But, you know, it's, it's something different from what I usually play. I mean, I'm not that into the click adventure sort of thing. Uh, so I thought, I, I thought I'd give it a go, check it out. You know, currently I am looking forward to the Elder Scrolls Legends. Um, that's supposed to be really good. And I am playing a lot of Chronicle at the moment, which I'll release a few videos on in the upcoming days. So all in all, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do want to sign up to the beta, I'll get the link and I'll put it in the description in case you do want to sign up to it. All in all, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Kyle from GTNK Gaming and I'm out.